over to our shoulders. Let's pick up our lungs as we inhale, shoulders, hips rest as we exhale. So hold just a few long, deep breaths. Let's slide in here to the shoulder, stretching through the side of the neck. Reaching tall, let's stretch over towards the other side. Reaching tall, sliding our shoulder blades up and down a few times. And then with our shoulders resting, let's inhale, chin and fingertips to the sky. And exhale, chin and thumbs down to the heart. We'll inhale, opening up. And exhaling, resting. Finding on my breath, reaching tall and relaxing. So we interlace our fingers, pushing the knuckles out, pulling the belly in, finding that reach through the shoulder blade. Ribs come tall and our arms press out ahead of us, drawing the arms to one side and to the other side. You can move at any range of motion, any pace of movement, whatever works today. You can stay reaching side to side, or as you feel a little evenness, let's Push the spine tall and find a little reach side to side. As we feel a little evenness in these movements, pressing the palms and the heart towards the sky. Option to stay here or slide the fingertips or the palms to the ground and squeeze those shoulder blades together. Maybe even lifting up the ribs or in the hips, stretching up the chest and the front side body. And then finding our tall spine, fingertips to the sky. Let's exhale and rest our arms to one side. Take a couple of breaths as we inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist, feeling the moment to rest into our breath. Let's move to neutral, lengthening and releasing towards the other side, finding that rest through our spine as we breathe. Move to neutral. Inhale, lifting tall. Exhaling, bounce to heart. Stretching into all fours. Feeling wrists under shoulders. Knees under hips. Feeling that tall spine. Beginning to inhale and press the heart forward as we open the cow. Exhaling, ribs up to the sky as we fold into cat. Slowing with our own breath. Inhaling, expanding. Exhaling, releasing. Feeling that Stretch and rest through our breath. We're welcome to keep the movement flowing up and down. Anytime we find a little evenness in the spine, we can find neutral and start folding side to side. Feeling shoulders drawing in towards the hips. A little release side to side as we breathe. a little evenness. Let's pull the lower belly in and extend through the right heel. Lifting the ribs, maybe the left fingertips stretch forward or left thumb extends to the sky and link them through the arm and the leg and breathe. Let's rest that side and then lengthen through the left heel. Lift the ribs, maybe right fingertips or right thumb extending forward and breathe. down. Let's feel a little bit of movement in one arm, reaching up to the sky and stretching underneath the ribs. So feel a little openness as we inhale, a little reach as we exhale, letting our bodies find any range of motion, whatever is working the best today, and breathe. Now we're welcome to keep the movement flowing or we can relax the shoulder, the side of the head and notice a moment of release through our shoulders as we breathe. If the pressing palm arm wants to move, it can fall over the head towards the top of the mat or up towards the sky or we can fold it to the lower back and get a little release through the shoulders as we breathe. And we'll return to our all fours, trading arms, sliding the other arm up towards the sky, reaching it under the ribs, feeling openness and reach 
and our breath. Continue the flowing movement or find a place to relax the side of the head and the shoulders and feel the body resting here. Grounded palm can stay or walk up to the top of the mat over the head or reach up to the sky or can relax the back of the hand into lower back and rest into our breath. Feel a little evenness in our movements, returning to all fours, inhaling, pressing the heart forward, and then exhaling back into child's pose, resting with our fingertips forward, or maybe relaxing the elbows and joining the fingertips, and maybe even bending the elbows to draw the thumbs towards the shoulders and feel the arms stretch from the elbow to the shoulder and breathe. Staying here or reaching arms forward to stay or over towards one side to feel that reach through our side body. And then maybe over towards the other side, reaching through our side body. Returning to neutral to stay or lifting into our body's downward dog, lengthening through our spine with bent knees, straight legs, or maybe moving our legs, stretching one. Thigh forward, the other thigh back, and get a little reach through our spine, a little release through the back of the legs as we breathe. Sending feet up to our hands, creating relaxation in our body's forward fold. Letting our inhale stretch us just halfway up, planting through our heels, let's inhale and let's heart towards the sky. Keeping one arm tall, we'll send one arm to the ground, thinking about our fingers pulling in opposite directions. And then we can try to send the other arm to the sky, the other arm to the ground, feel the fingers reaching one. And we'll send both arms up to the sky, pushing the palms and lifting the lungs. Reaching over to one side, just to hang out for a little moment. And then back to the center, to the other side for one moment. And then back to the center, lifting on the inhale, exhaling to airplane. We're inhaling, reaching tall, exhaling, airplane, do a couple more. Lifting and hinging, lifting, and then swan diving all the way down. Let's send the right toes back behind us, relaxing the back knee and toe, feeling our inhale, draw the heart forward, feeling our exhale, relax our hips. We're welcome to stay or maybe flow with our breath, drawing in towards our lunge, releasing in towards our half pyramid, and feeling any range of motion, any pace of movement, whatever our bodies allow with our stretch today, relaxing through our breath. And our bodies can continue the flowing movement or might find a place of stillness to continue our tall spine or fold the heart towards the thigh. We'll find a moment to relax through our breath. Letting our inhale guide our heart forward and exhaling, resting into our body's child's pose just for a moment to relax into our breath. Staying in our child's pose or finding our kneeling plank, stabilizing the spine to stay or folding with control, letting our inhale pull the heart open, exhaling and folding, resting back. Feeling just a moment to breathe, resting through our breath. Helping our right toes find our way into our body's lunge. Getting the heel under the knee, arms comfortable. Inhaling the heart forward, exhaling our hips back and finding any range of motion any pace of movement, whatever our bodies are agreeing with today, finding rest and release through our breath. And our bodies can continue to flow or we can find a place of stillness to relax just for a moment, finding peace through our exhales. Allowing 
in our inhale, to send our heart forward, guiding our back toes towards our front toes, releasing any variation of forward fold, fingertips on ground, shins, or thighs. We can relax in stillness. Maybe our head and neck flow a little up and down. Maybe flowing a little bit side to side, maybe a little up and down again. Feeling our inhale, pull us up halfway. Planting our heels, let's inhale, lift up all the way, heart to the sky. And then exhale, send the tailbone back, finding chair. Inhaling, heart to the sky. Exhaling to chair, do a couple more breaths. Inhaling, opening. Exhale, hinging, lifting. And then hanging out chair just for a moment to breathe. Pull the lower belly in. And with our spine tall, extending our arms to the side, let's roll through our wrist, through our elbows, through our shoulders. And we're folding our thumbs in, back of the hands can hang out at the lower back, or we can stack the forearms, or we can interlace and draw the knuckles towards the ground. Shoulder blades squeezing in, maybe a little openness to pull the heart towards the sky. And as we exhale, tailbone reaches back, ribs rest to the thighs, hands can hang out on the hips or stretch towards the sky just for a moment. And then we're going to rest our palms on our thighs to stay, or as our ribs are resting on the thighs, we can stack the forearms and feel the shoulders and the elbows relax with gravity. We can be still or rock a bit side to side, whatever our shoulders and ribs feel like releasing. Letting our fingertips rest, sending the left toes behind us, finding our lunge, back knee lifted or lowered. Option to twist towards our front thigh, breathe, and then releasing. Child's pose or downward dog. Enjoying a moment of stillness and rest. Maybe inhaling, finding plank, or kneeling plank to stay. We can exhale with control, elbows to the rib. Inhaling, lifting up the lungs. Exhaling and relaxing. Feeling just a moment to breathe. Rest and release through our breath. Helping our left toes find their way up into our lunge. Heel slides under the knee. Back knee up or down. Welcoming that twist towards the front thigh. And then returning child's pose or downward dog. Anywhere we're feeling like hanging out at the moment. Feeling a few resting breaths. And then maybe inhaling right toes up to the sky for a three-legged dog. Helping our right foot find its way forward into our lunge. Heel resting under the knee. As we open to warrior two, allowing the back heel to ground to the side, the toes open towards the side or slightly forward. Fingers reaching towards our feet. Feeling the lift of the top of the head on the inhale and feeling our exhale relaxing as we breathe. Then from here, sliding the right arm underneath the left, and then having the option to slide the fingertips to the shoulders, maybe the back of the hands flying, or the palms connect, the shoulders resting. Finding stillness or reaching side to side, shoulders traveling towards one leg, and then towards the other leg, creating any range of motion, any pace of movement as we reach side to side, breathe. Welcome to keep the movement flowing side to side. Or as we lift into neutral, adding that twist, elbows towards the front leg, elbows back towards the side, and feel just a little movement through our spine, engaging through those abdominals as we breathe. And then as we send our elbows to the front leg, hanging out, we're inhaling, elbows towards the sky, exhaling, elbows towards that front thigh, creating openness and release with our breath. And the next time our elbows reach forward, we have the option to rest them on top of the side or allow them to release inside the front thigh, noticing gravity, Resting through the elbows, the shoulders, 
the head, the neck, feeling a moment to breathe with these eagle arms, or you can release the arms resting fingertips to the ground, or we can lengthen out the arms as though we're creating this downward dog spine, these warrior two legs, and feel a little lift through the lower belly to support our body as we breathe. And wherever we're at, finding our lunge, walking hips, ribs, palms to the front of the mat, option to twist towards the front thigh. And then relax. Child's pose, downward dog. Anywhere along the way, we feel pretty stable. Hanging out, option for movement. Maybe we find plank or kneeling plank and hang out or exhale. Elbows in. Inhale, heart open and exhale, hips back. Feeling just a moment to breathe, resting through our exhales. If we're feeling like that three-legged dog, maybe he's traveling the left toes up to the sky and helping the left foot find its way into our lunge. Stacking heel under the knee and then finding our warrior two at the back heel, grounding sideways or slightly forward. Shoulders, hips, rest. Feel the stability in the legs as now our left arm comes underneath the X of the arms. Fingertips towards the shoulders or back of the hands and palms. Our shoulder blades rest. The elbows widen them out. Then we have the option to flow side to side. Elbows reaching towards one leg and towards the other leg. Finding that side to side. We're welcome to continue this side flowing movement or add that twisting movement with the elbows drawing towards the front leg and then reaching them back towards the side. So grounding through the legs, feeling that movement happening through the upper body. We send our elbows towards the front leg, maybe inhaling, heart to the sky, exhaling towards the front thigh, feeling openness, feeling release as we breathe, relaxing through our breath. Now as our elbows reach forward, maybe relaxing, Elbows on the thigh, or allowing the elbows to release with gravity inside the thigh. We're resting elbows, shoulders, head and neck, and breathe. And continuing with these eagle arms, or resting fingertips towards the ground, or extending the arms as though we're creating this downward dog spine with these warrior two legs, lifting through that lower belly to continue the support as we breathe. Anytime we're ready, walking into our lunge, feet, hips, ribs, toes, all reaching to the front of the mat, option to twist towards the front thigh. And then back to child's pose, maybe downward dog, hanging out, anywhere feeling a good release. Maybe we're moving, option for plank or kneeling plank. We can hang out, we can exhale, elbows in, inhale the heart open. Exhaling it back, feeling just a moment to rest through our breath. And then if we like a three-legged dog, we can send the right toes up to the sky and then help the right foot find its way into our lunge. Heel rests under the knee and the back knee relaxes to the ground. Sliding our palms to the top of the front thigh. And we'll feel just a little relaxation in our shoulders. Feel everything squeezing into the midline of the body for a little extra control as we inhale and open the heart to the sky and exhale ribs towards the thigh. For a couple more breaths, inhale expanding, exhale relaxing, inhaling open, exhaling down. Now we'll stretch our spine tall, shoulders relaxed, Sliding one arm up to the sky, the other hand can stay 
on the thigh, or it can reach towards the ground or rest on the hip. Staying vertical or letting the top arm reach over the head and feeling a little bit more stretch in through our side body. As we are ready, trading arms, squeezing into the midline, staying vertical or allowing that top arm to reach over the head, stretching through our side body. And then returning to neutral, sending the arms to the sky. Let's find a deep breath to inhale and reach the heart open. And then as we exhale, we're gonna slide one arm back behind us. Inhale, you can stay neutral or reach open. And exhale, slide the other arm back. So feel this little baby twisting movement. We can choose any range of motion any pace of movement that works today. Maybe one more in each arm. And then as we found a little evenness in our movements, reaching our heart as tall as it wants to go, and then fingertips rest to the ground, reaching our front leg towards straight, and then resting our fingertips underneath our shoulders. Now from here, if it feels okay, we're gonna lengthen up our spine, stretching our fingers out from the shoulders, this straight leg, so it can be up or down. If you'd rather have the bend in the knee for more stability, that's available too. Inner thighs, lower belly connect inside the midline of the body. So maybe we twist towards one leg, feeling neutral, maybe twisting towards the other leg. Finding any range of motion, any pace of movement, it's a bit of a balance challenge. So if you're feeling wobbly, you are normal. <laughs> if you're already wobbly, <laughs> not feeling it, but connecting the ground, that's totally normal too. I keep thinking, how in the world did you use this mat <laughs> all those years? I did. You did it for a while. <laughs> Let's come to neutral. <laughs> Exhale, hinge. Let's find our parallel spine. Arms can stay reaching out as the lower belly lifts to support the lower back. At any time, you're welcome to rest the fingertips to the ground and continue the tall spine or sink the heart towards the back. Feeling just a moment to breathe, resting through our exhales. Letting that next inhale pull our heart forward, and then we're going to let the hands come inside the front leg, sending the front foot back, stacking wrist under the shoulders. We can continue more of this knee, or, um, yeah, kneeling plank, or you can rest the elbows under the shoulders and reach into a kneeling forearm plank, and you can keep more of a strength building option or push the tailbone up to the sky and the collarbone towards the ground into a puppy pose and stretch out the back of the shoulders and the chest and breathe. Can continue in puppy pose or walk the hips and the heart back to child's pose and feel just a moment to notice relaxation through the body as we breathe, resting in stillness or reaching the arms to one side, stretching through our side body, and then we'll reach over towards the other side. And as we come back into the center, if you like that three-legged dog, we can send the left toes up to the sky and help the left foot find its way into our lunge, relaxing the back knee. Sending our palms up to the front thigh, Shoulders rest, lower belly in. We're going to take just a moment to inhale, heart to the sky. Exhaling, heart towards the front thigh. Just a couple more breaths. Inhaling, expanding. Exhaling, releasing. Maybe one more. Inhaling, open. Exhaling, rest. Now as our spine finds length, shoulders rest. One arm reaching up to the sky, the other hand on the thigh or stretching to the hip or the floor. Staying vertical or top arm 
head stretch over the head, reaching through our side body. And then as we feel neutral, we can trade the other arm up to the sky, the other to the ground, stay taller, reaching over, and the other reach through our side body. And then finding neutral with our arms reaching, maybe inhale, open. We can exhale and send one arm, reaching up, inhaling through the center, exhaling the other arm, reaching back. Maybe just a couple more each arm. As you feel a little lift and release with our breath. a little evenness in our arm movements, maybe lifting the heart to the sky, exhaling fingertips down, option to keep the knee bent, or stretch the front leg towards straight with the toe up or down, sliding our fingertips under the shoulders, picking up that lower belly, and then feeling the arms stretch out from the shoulders, squeezing everything into the midline, knees still or Feel that slow rotation side to side. The more slow and controlled we are, the less likely we are to need the support of the ground to help us to come back up <laughs> to straight. Yeah, well, thanks a lot. We're glad the ground's there <laughs> and a supportive man. All right, let's take a deep breath. Inhale, open. Maybe hang out in the airplane with the lower belly kicked in and the spine is tall, arms can stay extended. As long as that feels like a good stretch for it, resting fingertips with the spine tall or finding that fold and relax. And we'll end up with our hips and heart reaching forward. Bring our hands on the inside, send the front foot back to the back. So we've created this kneeling plank option to stay, or elbows can rest under the shoulders, this kneeling forearm option, or tailbone to the sky, collarbone to the ground, in the puppy pose, stretching the chest and the shoulders. And breathe. We can continue puppy pose, we can walk our hips, and ribs back into our bodies, variation of child's pose, whatever that might be today. Arms can stay stretching forward, maybe arms travel over towards one side to hang out, and come back to neutral, and then maybe travel to the other side to hang out, and come back to the center and relax, or anytime we're ready, walking our feet up to our hands and relaxing in our body's forward fold, fingertips on the ground, mm -hmm. the shins or the thighs, feeling just a moment of rest and relaxation, or maybe flowing our head and neck up and down a few times, or a little side to side a few times, maybe a little up and down again. Feeling our inhale, lengthen us halfway, grounding our heels, let's inhale, and heart to the sky, resting our arms, flowing just a bit, shoulders, ribs, lower back relax. And then as we feel a good place, we'll start working on balancing. Grounding through one foot, the other thigh forward or open as we find a tree, squeeze it in, lift it up. Grounding into our palms, finding our focal point. Continuing here, as we feel stability in that standing leg, we can Move that bent knee leg anywhere we're not pressing into our joints. That allows stability. Palms grounding at the heart or relaxing. Maybe extending from the shoulders or stretching towards the sky. Finding anything that works today and continue to try to relax through the breath.
hands to our joints, turn the legs, the inner heel grounds, your thighs forward or open. Let's reach it in and up, feel the grounding, finding our focal point, twisting or floating anywhere. We're not any pressure on our leg. Deepen the palms of the heart and relaxing or out or towards the sky. Feeling peace through our breath. Relax our joints a bit. We're going to move into our body's version of dancer pose. Guiding the other foot forward to ground, the other toe back to lift, and then arms reach in the direction of our legs. As that grounding foot takes on the weight, maybe we float the toe, maybe we bend the knee, maybe our foot feels the hand, and we continue or inhale, thighs and heart open as far as we feel stable. And breathe. Feeling peace through our breath. Let's relax here. Maybe we're going to bit. Trading legs when we're ready, the other foot drawing forward, the other back, guiding our arms in the direction of our legs, front foot takes on the weight, back toe can float, the knee can bend, maybe the foot lifts into the hand, squeezing inner thigh, lower belly to stay, or inhaling heart, thigh open, maybe just a small movement, or as much as we feel pretty stable about at the moment, breathe. Releasing out our joints, returning to the front of our mat, feeling lift on the inhale, swan dive through the exhale, and then back to downward dog. Stretching out our legs, maybe pedaling on our feet, sliding one thigh forward, the other thigh back. Then we're inhaling, finding plank or kneeling plank, lowering onto our belly with control. And then relaxing our head and our hands and releasing the shoulders, the ribs, the hips, the legs. Taking just a moment to breathe. And we keep our legs still or maybe bend our knees and flex the soles of the feet up to the sky. Inner thighs engage, lower belly kicks in. Let's have the option to slide our elbows in line with our shoulders. We can continue here. And with our inhale, lifting the heart, maybe lifting the elbows. And exhale, resting. Inhaling, expanding. Exhale, resting. Maybe a couple more breaths. Reach and open, rest again. Now the next time we lift, sliding the elbows underneath the shoulders. Grounding the forearms, that lower belly still kicks in as we draw the heart to the front of the mat. Heels can stay pressing up to the sky. We can point our toes, you can draw your toes towards the head. If we're feeling pretty strong in our spine today, you can check in and notice how we're feeling. Having the option to lift the elbows up off the ground as that lower belly kicks in, and we have a little deeper stretch. And we're resting. All the way back down. Relaxing the head, the toes, the hips, the shoulders. 
then we're making a T with our arms. We're going to rest the left ear to the ground and slide the right palm in towards the shoulder and start to roll over on to our left side. So we can stay here. If we'd like more stretch, maybe bending the top knee, sole the foot to the ground. If we found too much stretch, we can always lower the leg. If we'd like more stretch, we can lower or lift up that bottom knee to the sky, sole the foot to the ground. a good stretch. We can return our ribs back to the ground, sliding our palms by our rib cage, picking up the lower belly, lifting the collarbone and stretching the spine tall and resting into our body's child's pose. We're getting just a few resting and relaxing breaths. And as we're ready, we'll lengthen up our spine roll into our tailbone, and send our feet towards the front of our mouth. So we'll feel inner thigh engagement, lower belly engagement, shoulders resting, heart opens, toes on the ground or floating as we kick in that lower belly, even having the option to lift up the heels. Continuing to hold on to the thighs, our reaching out as we slowly begin to lower with as much control as available. So our legs extend, our spine rests to the ground, our arms can rest by our side or stretch over the head and feel a little length in our body. And maybe we bend our elbows, allow our shoulder blades to feel comfort in the ground, and our hips and ribs and legs to feel a little more peace as we rest through each exhale, noticing relaxation through each breath. Then we're welcome to continue here as long as this feels like a good option for our body. We can slide the heels towards the hips, resting heels under the knees and lengthening our fingertips towards our hips, towards the heels as our shoulder blades wiggle in. Then we have the option to lift into bridge, pressing the forearms and the feet in the ground and inhale thighs, hips, and ribs towards the sky. Now we can reach into any variation of bridge that you're feeling good about today. Forearms can stay on the ground, or maybe we reach our fingertips towards each other, interlacing the fingers, getting our shoulder blades to wiggle in a little closer towards each other to open our chest a little further. We can hang out here, or maybe it feels better to make a little kickstand with our elbows under our hips and opening up the front side of the body. Or if you're feeling like opening up into a wheel, we can draw hands by our ears, lower belly kicks in, and then we'll ground our heels and push the heart to the sky. But, you know, the options, just, just options. <laughs> All options. 
So I'll just take one more breath. I have one end up, I can't get the other. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. Some days it works, some days it's not working. <laughs> and with our tailbone resting to the ground, let's take a moment to send our feet wide and feel just a few little windshield wiping movements to release out the tailbone, the lower back, releasing through the outer hips, and maybe even rolling to where we feel a little release up into our ribs. Anytime we're ready, hugging our thighs into our chest, relaxing our spine to the ground, maybe even rocking just a bit side to side. And from here, letting our heels relax under the knees, the right ankle stacks on top of the left leg. So the first option is going to be to just roll the thigh to the left and gaze to the right with the top knee up or you can pull the top thigh towards the ground. You can add a bind depending on how your shoulders and ribs are feeling about it. Just reaching our hands up to the feet, still rolling to the left, but you have your hands on the feet and that top leg can stay bent or we can stretch it towards straight. center and hug the thighs into the chest in stillness or rock a bit side to side and breathe. Then we can relax the heels under the knees, trading legs, letting the left ankle stack. You can hang out here or let the knees travel to the right, gazing to the left. And then if you'd like, we can use a hand to pull the top thigh to the ground. A little less intense. If you want more intensity, you can bring the hands to the legs, letting the shoulders, the hips rest, with the option to extend this front leg towards straight and breathe. Center, returning the thighs to the chest, maybe rocking our spine just a bit side to side. Breathe. And releasing our heels underneath our knees, resting the tailbone on the ground. First option is just to lift the chin up to the sky and open our throat. It's a little baby variation of fish. You can slide your hands under the hips. And then with the next inhale, pull the ribs up to the sky so that maybe more of the top of the head gently rests on the ground, but the weight of the body is in the forearms. So we open up the lungs and breathe. Just a couple of breaths to give our bodies a little bit of the opposite of what we spend most of our day doing, especially in cooler weather where more compact in our folded options for warmth. And when we're ready, you can release the spine back to the ground, returning the arms to the side, the feet wide, and maybe windshield wiper the legs again here, feeling peace and relaxation, side to side, any range of motion, any pace of movement. Our bodies are welcome to keep windshield wipering if there's some other stretch we haven't been cued into today that your body's really craving an extra release in. Feel free to move into any other stretch you need to relax right now. If you're ready for stillness, you can keep windshield wiping as long as that feels like a good option. Or relax the knees towards each other, tailbone releasing towards the ground. Or sending the soles of the feet together and resting thighs and hips open. You can stay in recline butterfly and relax the hips. You can even do some baby windshield wipering movements here if you'd like, a little different.
regret Pippin's fine release. Or if you feel better about it, we can extend the legs towards straight and feel the feet opening, the palms opening, the shoulders, ribs, all releasing and towards the ground. And as we're ready, sending that inhale into the belly, lifting the belly up to the sky, and then with our exhale, relaxing the belly, relaxing into the lower back. We keep the breath in the belly, or we can start to inhale, lifting through the belly, the ribs, maybe even up into the heart. Exhaling, shoulder blades, ribs, tailbone, resting in towards the ground. Feeling any movement pattern that, any breathing pattern that our body is feeling the best about at the moment. Our breath to expand a little bit deeper, to release a little bit further, helping any stagnant air releasing out of our lungs, creating that space for that fresh oxygenated breath to reach into our lungs to travel, feeling peace and rest and calm through our body with each breath. And just noticing our bodies finding a little bit more relaxation through each exhale. Welcome to continue the relaxing breathing pattern we've created. Anytime we're ready, we can travel the breath into our fingers and our toes, welcoming any movements in our bodies at any time, relaxing through our hands into our feet, releasing through our wrists into our ankles, relaxing our lower legs, our lower arms, breathing through our knees through our elbows, releasing through our thighs, through our hips, relaxing our upper arms and our shoulders, feeling our breath traveling into our spine, resting the tailbone, the lower back, releasing through our rib cage, the shoulder blades, relaxing the neck and the back of the head, maybe hugging our thighs into the chest at any time, enjoying the moment of stillness and rest, or maybe even inhaling, thighs away from the chest, exhaling, thighs in towards the chest a few times, getting a little stimulation in our organs for a few breaths. Staying here with this movement on our spine, or rocking a bit side to side, or maybe even releasing over on to our side just for a moment. Head can rest in the hands or upper arm as we feel just a moment of rest and peace as we draw in those calming, peaceful breaths through one side and releasing out anything we just don't need through the other side into the ground. Just a few resting, peaceful exhales. We're welcome to lift into any seated option that feels the best on our bodies at the moment. Tailbone relaxing, spine lengthening, shoulders resting. Taking just a moment to slide a chin to the shoulder and get slid in it to open, shoulder blades resting. And then chin reaches towards the other side, relaxing for a moment. Feeling
behind us, all resting our shoulders. Let's inhale, fingertips to the sky. Exhaling, balance and chin to the heart. 